appear up here shortly. Josh, you give me the okay when we're ready to go. All right. So let me introduce to the Nikon Theater stage my friend, <laughs> my colleague, my boss. <laughs> Not your boss. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's awesome. When Mark gives us that okay, we're going to transition over. <laughs> we're good? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Dixie Dixon. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Can you guys hear me okay? Awesome. I am beyond stoked to be here. What an amazing, amazing show. Me. Are you guys having a blast? Yes? You guys are a little quiet this morning? That's all good. <laughs> so I'm Dixie Dixon, obviously. Um, just to give you guys a quick background, when I was 12 years tell old, me, my dad gave tell me my first right. camera, the FG. How many of you guys owned a Nikon film camera? Any no, of you? I'm going to get you over here. I just you guys in there. Um, yeah, so literally I've been on this crazy photography adventure of a lifetime. Uh, at 16, I had my first big break, Little League photographer. So I'd be shooting literally 6 a.m. every single day, shooting the sports teams for a whopping like 10 bucks an hour. At 17, I ended up joining the yearbook staff. And you know, it's funny, I was a band nerd, and I joined the yearbook to get out of um, band camp. <laughs> How many of you guys were in band? Any of you? Awesome, yes. So literally, I was pretty good at saxophone, but I was not quite as good at marching while playing the saxophone. And one day, I was playing um, on the field, and somehow I was playing, and I ran smack dab into a tuba player. And the whole line, it was like domino effect, and everyone fell to the ground. And I realized that that day that maybe marching band was not my thing, and that is when I decided to join yearbook staff. And so I ended up joining yearbook staff and going on this crazy photography adventure. So it's been nonstop ever since, and I really enjoyed the process of making pictures. So I shoot primarily commercial fashion imagery, and I also shoot a lot of advertising photography. That's my ultimate passion, is really bringing brand's visions to life. So when I go into a shoot, you know, I like to get to know the brand almost like it's a person. I look at the fonts that they use. I look at the colors they use. And then I also try to bring out the beautiful personality of my subjects and whoever it is that I'm shooting. Because so much of photography is relationships. And when you can get to know the subjects that you're shooting, you're going to be able to bring out their personality in the pictures. And it's a really fun experience. I love capturing the beautiful essence of the clothes that they're wearing. That's really and truly what fashion is all about. And it's bringing out the emotion, the feeling of wearing those clothes. And that's what I tend to try to capture in my fashion photography, as well as the personality of whoever it is that I'm shooting. So this is Zandria. This is one of my absolute favorite models and shot with a D850 camera. How many of you guys have a D850? Any of you? Awesome. Love that camera. So I'm primarily shooting now with the D850 and the Nikon Z. Love those two cameras. And it was interesting for this shot, I'm shooting backlit. And this was one moment where my camera almost got completely drenched. But it ended up being my favorite shot because we had those beautiful water droplets along the bottom of the frame, which made the image. So sometimes you have to sort of power through it and get those shots. For me, photography truly is the outward expression of inner significance. Like I was saying earlier, I like to bring out the personality of whoever it is that I'm shooting. So getting to know them beforehand is a really important part of it. And this is new images with the Nikon Z. I am obsessed with this camera. I have been shooting with it for a couple months and just doing different kinds of fashion shoots and things like that. It really just captures the beauty and essence of whoever it is that I'm shooting. And it's just been an incredible experience working with the campaign and working with Nikon. And you know, this is a picture that Mike Corrado shot on set for the Nikon Z campaign. And you can see it's just really fun to shoot with. This is a multiple exposure image that I did uh, recently at the launch party. So this is all done in camera. And that's what's really incredible. As you can see instantly, when you take an image, it overlays it. And then you take another image, and you can see how the multiple exposure comes to life in camera. So with fashion photography, it's a really fun tool to work with. So this is a little bit of a funny story. And I start here because this is kind of where this whole adventure started for this particular campaign. So how many of you guys have heard of the, the um, company Poopery? Any of you? 
Okay, cool. <laughs> that helps. That helps me out. So poopery is actually a bathroom spray, believe it or not. And as a photographer, they're based in Dallas. I'm a commercial shooter. And it's kind of interesting how, as a fashion photographer, I get hired to shoot all kinds of different commercial stuff. It's not necessarily just all fashion. So they wanted me to bring to life their new bathroom spray, um, which is actually really helpful. It's called Privy. And it's made with essential oils. And they basically wanted me to shoot it like it was a perfume ad. It's kind of random, but that's what they wanted. And it was really fun to bring to life. So it was interesting because during this whole shoot, it was like a 14-hour day. And I ended up getting a call from Nikon USA. Mark Soares and, and Mike were on the phone. And they said, Dixie, we can't tell you anything. And you cannot ask any questions. And all that we need you to do is hold some dates in um, the summer, and whatever we're coming out with is going to blow your mind. That's all they would tell me on this phone call. And I was like, okay, the dates are on hold. I'm fascinated. What is going on? So it was really interesting. So I thought to myself, like, how could you possibly get better than the Nikon D850? And I thought, gosh, how could you even do any better? So I started thinking about it. I'm still shooting this poopery campaign during the whole process. Um, and I'm excited to share with you the campaign, but for good measure, since I was on set at the Poopery shoot, I thought I would show you guys the commercial that I directed and scripted for this entire campaign for Poopery before we get into it. It's definitely a fun adventure. Bang, bang, boom. I won't be your waiting hand. I won't be your stepping stone. So that's, they're going to be releasing that soon. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's such a fun adventure, for sure. It's such a fun crew. So how many of you guys shoot fashion? Any of you? A few of you guys. OK, cool. Very nice. Well, the Nikon Z campaign, you know, it was a really, really fun experience. Um, we had a lot of different situations and scenarios that I set up. Because you know, when you're given this kind of opportunity, you really want to showcase what the camera is capable of. So it's interesting when you go into a shoot like this, it's incredibly liberating when a client gives you full creative control. And it's also really scary because it's like you want to do it justice and you want to bring amazing images to life. And it's interesting as an artist, sometimes no rules is harder than giving yourself rules. So when I go into a shoot, sometimes I like to give myself a few rules, a few speculations to stick with when I'm going into it. So for this particular shoot, I wanted to go with a whole fashion story that's sort of white with a simple background to bring out the three-dimensionality of the camera with these three-dimensional dresses. So these are actually dresses made out of paper. Um, we had them done in New York and then sent to Texas. And they turned out really cool. And uh, we have this beautiful flower hat that I found on Etsy. So I'm always looking for different props and things like that to use for different images. And it's amazing to me the kind of detail that comes out in this particular camera. It was definitely a dream project and really enjoyed working with it. This is all natural light. I tend to keep my lighting really simple when I shoot. Um, it keeps it easy, and so I can really focus on the connection with whoever it is that I'm shooting, basically. So it's really fun to work with. This is shot with a Nikon 35 millimeter lens. Um, that's the Z series lenses. Have you guys had a chance to play with the Z series and the Nikon lenses? Nice. <laughs> yes, it's a really fun to work with. I love it for wide angle type of imagery. 
and especially for capturing that beautiful essence. So the paper dresses were an interesting story, actually. Um, they actually came to the set, and they were just sheets of paper. They weren't even put together yet. So we literally had to wrap this paper around the models without ripping it and things like that. So we used kind of white undergarments to create the look. Um, so a lot of photography is a lot of problem solving. I feel like a lot of what I do is just being an expert problem solver. This is shot with a 50 millimeter. I use this, this particular lens, this almost whole studio day. And it ended up with beautiful images, crazy sharpness. Um, I was pretty blown away with how much detail is in all of these files. So you can see that come to life. I also did a lot of time lapse. I like to show you know, the crew at work. I work with a really interesting dream team. I call them the dream team. Um, it's basically models, hair and makeup artists, wardrobe stylists. Um, there's a lot of people on set. It's a whole huge cast of characters involved in creating these fashion shoots, basically. So I have a really amazing dream team. How many of you guys actually work with a team? Any of you? Nice. It definitely helps. It helps so much to work with a team because when they're on their A game and you are on your A game, you can create something way bigger than you could have created alone. And for me, it just allows me to specialize in the photography portion of it while someone else focuses on the hair, makeup, and the wardrobe, and the styling. So the viewfinder. For this particular Z camera, the viewfinder, the focus points cover 90% of it. So you're really able to focus on the edges of the frame, which I find really perfect for fashion, because a lot of times I'm shooting with a lot of negative space. And especially for shooting for magazines and things like that, when they're going to end up adding text you know, to the image for a lot of it. So I was pretty blown away by how the viewfinder works. And also, you can see your settings come to life in camera, which I think is really helpful, because with DSLRs, you can't see it in camera. Now, with the new mirrorless Z system, you can see everything instantly. So you change the ISO, and you can see an instant effect in the back of the viewfinder. So it's really easy to work with and really enjoyed it. Um, the pinpoint focus I also found to be really, really helpful. So you can really pinpoint exactly where you want to focus. And for this particular shot, I focused in on the eyes. So you can see how much detail. It's amazing to see it on this big screen, um, just how much detail is in these cameras. And the eyelashes really come to life. I'm always trying to get that pinpoint focus. So basically, it makes the focus point a lot smaller, if that makes sense to you guys. Then we also had to add in some poodles. I love dogs. <laughs> and it was supposed to be also an interesting experience, because not, little did I know that the poodles had to get their hair done as well as the model during the shoot. <laughs> and it was pretty funny, because the poodles' hair actually frizzed before the shoot. It was all crazy. And I literally had to have the hair and makeup artist like, perfect it before this image. It was pretty funny. I, I think I must have been a poodle in a past life because I have really frizzy hair um, that I straighten and tame. <laughs> but it all comes to life. So let's talk a little bit about format. Um, I like to use a lot of different formats when I shoot. And the Nikon Z now shoots in 16 by 9 format, which is great for TV. And also, it shoots a really nice square format. So if you're shooting for social media, for Instagram, things like that, it's a really nice tool to work with. And so I use it quite often for social media stuff. The adapter is not like any other adapter. I feel like adapters get sort of a bad rap. Um, but this particular adapter, there's no light loss, no image quality loss, and it's the same lighting, basically. So you can see how, when I use a 105 millimeter lens, just how much detail is in there using that adapter. So I'm able to use all of my older Nikon lenses with the adapter as well. This is funny. This was at the very end of the shoot. And my whole crew had all packed up. They were ready to go. They were out the door. And I'm literally sitting by the window with the model, capturing that last 10 minutes of light. As photographers, we are always chasing light. And uh, sometimes those end up being my best shots. And it's funny because this is my favorite shot of the day, and it was the very last shot that I shot that day. It ended up being my absolute favorite shot. The whole crew had already left, and I'm still out there shooting. When I shoot, it's hard to stop myself because I just have so much fun with it. Um, never am I more present than I am when I'm shooting. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but this is like my passion. It's my ultimate dream job. So when I get to shoot, I like to milk it. So we'll shoot for 12, 14 hours during the day. So the next stop that we did for this campaign was in Mejia, Texas. Have you guys heard of Mejia, Texas? Nobody. <laughs> it's out in the middle of nowhere in Texas. 
And I ended up finding this amazing abandoned location. And I was so excited about it. <laughs> Joe McNally over there. <laughs> um, and it just was so, so beautiful. It was actually an interesting location, too, because we had to sign all these waivers in order to actually get into the location and shoot there, because they had holes in the floor. They're like, if you fall through the floor, you cannot sue us. Um, there was no air conditioning. It was like 110 degrees in Texas. And so a lot of times, the models are always going to be next to the fan. <laughs> so in Texas, it's always hot. It's like a, literally 110 degrees. So for this image, I just saw the model over there by the fan, and I thought it looked kind of cool and kind of edgy. And so I ended up just capturing her right when she was over there, and it just created a cool high fashion type of look, which was really fun. I also tried out the nine frames per second, so you can capture the movement of the dress, which is really fun for fashion type of work. So we had her by the window. This location was amazing. It was rough to kind of, it was like six stories, but it was definitely worth it for the images. It's amazing what we go through as photographers to create our imagery. And then again, she's next to the fan. <laughs> so I utilized this fan in the shot for kind of a cool fashion look. And then this was the entire dream team. And one of the rooms had this huge pileup of just chairs. Like, we didn't put these there. They were already in the location. It was kind of a spooky, kind of interesting location to shoot at. Um, but we had the whole crew there and created some cool looks. This was a military-inspired shot. I love military-style fashion. That's just my love. And so I'm always trying to bring that into the images. So I found those binoculars on, I think, eBay. And then this is actually an Alexander McQueen jacket that we found for this particular image. And you can see it come to life here. And this image is actually blown up on the other side of this sign. You can see, I mean, it's crazy, the image quality. Um, I don't know, if nothing shows image quality, I feel like that does when you see it life-size in a booth, um, just how much detail are in these different files and whatnot. So this kind of was a fun image for me. This was shot with the Nikon 35 um, image. And basically, I wanted to create this sort of map-like look. The background had a sort of texture that I loved. Like, you would pay a fortune for this type of texture on a background. And it was kind of yellow, so I love using complementary colors. Basically, the complementary colors are across from each other on the color wheel. So for instance, blue and yellow, if you use these in the same image, they're going to have an amazing vibrancy and really come to life. So I used this for this particular image. It ended up being really cool. Um, here's another time lapse of our crew at work. I always like to bring out the color of the brand that I'm shooting for. So obviously, we had to use a yellow gown for one of the shots. It's really fun. I'm, yellow is my favorite color. Obviously, it's the Nikon color as well. So it was a really cool shot. We ended up using a fog machine here as well. This was actually the test shot, um, but I really liked it. It's not really perfectly lit. It's kind of moody and interesting, but I think it kind of brings out and showcases the look of the image. And then this last shot was definitely one of my absolute favorites. Um, we ended up, it was like on the sixth story, so it's obviously a lot hotter up there. And we had this amazing dress. And it was interesting because it was the very end of the day. My entire crew was completely exhausted. They didn't really want to shoot anymore. I was like, we have to get this last shot in the library. Ended up being my absolute favorite shot of that particular day, just because of the beams coming through. And how you create these beams is sunlight plus a fog machine. So if you guys have ever used a fog machine in your images, it creates a beautiful, cool atmosphere. So I use fog machines a lot in my fashion work to create kind of moody looks. And what was really interesting was this light turned on. There was no power in this particular building, but for some reason, the light worked in this particular spot. And so it made the image. I was super excited <laughs> about it. So it's amazing how that sort of serendipitous things happen when you shoot as a photographer. So it's interesting. I was editing these images from the D850, and I was thinking back at these particular shots. And I had to cl climb down literally two miles down to the beach to photograph these. And I thought to myself, how nice would it have been to have the Nikon Z because it's incredibly lightweight. So I plan to use it a lot on location. And these were shot at El Matador Beach in, in Los Angeles. So all natural light, super simple, just bringing out the beautiful essence of the model that I'm shooting. She's obviously really easy to shoot, really beautiful. And uh, so I love shooting lingerie and swimwear as well as fashion photography. So it's really fun.
Truly, lighting is the love language of photography. I really think that's true, because lighting creates the overall mood of your photograph. So before you go into actually shooting an image, think about the vision and the look that you're going for, and then go into creating the lighting, and that's how you're going to create the most impactful image. So I do a lot of pre-planning before I go into every single shoot. And so sometimes natural light works really well. This was shot with the Nikon Z backlit. Um, it works with backlit really well. And the wardrobe and the hair and makeup, everything kind of has to vibe in order to create a powerful fashion image. So the next stop on the campaign, <laughs> it was a long shoot, really fun, was Ennis, Texas. Obviously, I'm in Texas, and I have to shoot at a ranch. It's just kind of, you got to do it. <laughs> so Ennis, Texas had a really cool ranch location to work with. Lots of horses, lots of animals. I love working with animals on set. Um, they create a cool serendipitousness to the shoot because you never quite know what you're going to get. You never know how they're going to react. So we ended up using this beautiful horse for these particular images. And this was shot with the 105 millimeter and the adapter. So super simple, all natural light. I love using natural light, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, this was actually shot with the 200 millimeter and the adapter, so a lot longer lenses. So how many of you guys have like a 70 to 200? Any of you? Right on. Very cool. So next time you take a headshot, I always, when I shoot headshots, I use a longer lens. So I like to use like a 105 lens a lot of times. So on your 70 to 200, instead of taking your headshots at 70 millimeters, try zooming all the way into 200 millimeter to take your headshot. And that's basically going to blur your background really beautifully. And it's also going to make your model look a lot more beautiful because of the compression effect. So I love using longer lenses for that particular aspect. We did a ton, a ton of time lapse. Love the time lapse feature. Always good for video as well. And we also did a really cool behind the scenes film, which I'm going to show you guys. Just bringing out the cool texture. The model had a really cute connection with the um, horse on set. And it really played up really well in the video as well. This was the last 10 minutes of the day for this particular day of the shooting. And we had a beautiful miniature donkey to work with. And he had such a cute personality, and it all sort of came together. So it was really a lot of fun. And I always add hats. I'm such a hat nerd. So you'll see lots of hats in all of my images, because I'm just um, a freak about hats. And it was just such a fun adventure. So I would love to show you guys. We created basically a behind the scenes film. And it kind of looks like a feature film, short film. And it creates the mood and the look of the entire campaign that we did kind of brought to life. Um, so I'd love to show you guys that now.
was kind of a behind the scenes look. Thank you guys. <laughs> what a crazy day. I so appreciate you guys coming today. Thank you for listening. And I hope you guys want to have an amazing, amazing rest of your show. What an amazing experience. Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We have a very special panel discussion coming up next oh, with three amazing photojournalists, <laughs> Lindsay Dario, Carol Guzzi, and Amy Vitale. We're going to transition the stage. This is Broadway.